Adecker's State of Decay 2 recently got another big update. So we thought we'd take a look on the Steam Deck and figure out the best settings so you can get the most out of this game. Now I may have got a bit carried away in the testing on this and I can see why so many people are still playing with around four to 5,000 players still active a day. I'm sure the latest update is going to pull even more people in as well. The amount that you can do in this and how good this looks and how well it runs on the Steam Deck is just a testament to this game's longevity. For those wondering, it does tie in nicely with the achievement system and has 153 achievements on Steam Deck. And on the Xbox achievements, it does also trigger, but there seems to be over a thousand on there. So if you're a completionist, you're going to be spending a lot of time on this. Settings wise, it can run at 60 frames per second but when you're looking in the distance even at medium settings it does struggle to hold that 60 frames per second and on high settings it barely holds above 40 especially when we're looking along into the distance so if you are going to want to run this on high then i would cap it at 30 frames per second the high preset v-sync on and motion blur off but you'll see that even with 30 frames per second the wattage does still creep back up to around the 24 25 mark meaning you will drain your battery in an hour to an hour and a half at the absolute most. While it does look absolutely incredible, I do feel like the drop down to medium actually isn't that much, but the save on battery is actually huge. Keeping the frame rate cap at 30, but dropping the quality setting down to medium, suddenly that wattage drops to around the 15 mark, meaning that you're gonna get two to two and a half hours battery life on this, depending on what you're doing. But it never really seems to go above 18. Even at night with lots of stuff going on and lighting effects, it doesn't seem to go very high. It did hold a perfect 30. Pretty much everything I did to throw at this game, especially driving fast through zombie hordes, didn't seem to waver the game at all. So best settings definitely seem to be the medium preset, motion blur off, V-Sync on, and the frame rate cap on Steam Deck at 30 fps you will get an absolutely flawless experience on this but if you are going to plug it in then you could run it at the uncapped frame rate to get closer to that 60 frames per second in dock mode let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving back into this one or how long you've already spent in the game thanks for watching and see you in the next one okay we good